Corey Dabney is the CEO and Chairman of Dabney Behavioral Health Hospital um, of the Dabney Behavioral Health Corporation, Indiana University Northwest. You are the founder of the first African American university in the state of Indiana. As we can see, you are passionate about both education and health care and the impact that they have on, on our lives. You'll talk to us about the importance of establishing a relationship between Medicaid and prescribing psychologists. Many of us want to be able to serve the most, we are here to serve the most vulnerable populations, um, and not having Medicaid support that has been a big problem. Uh, but that's an issue that you're passionate about, and it's an issue that we're passionate about. Um, so we are working with Mark and our lobbying team, and what you bring to us and how you talk about that issue is very important. So I'm now presenting you to our group, again, in, in this room and then all over the country. Thank you, Dr. Corey Dabney. Thank you. I just spent a month in Hawaii. I'm glad to be home. <laughs> I run Dabney Behavioral Health, and I want to hire you to work. But I can't because you're not on the list. You know, saying that there's a need, sacrificing, doing the education, doing those postdoc hours, which are <laughs> problematic, <laughs> doing all that training to serve the populations that are in need. That's who I serve. 98% of the people that we serve have Medicaid. And you're not on the list. Getting the legislation passed is good. Getting uh, more relationships out there and explaining what you do is great. But if you're not on the list, it makes it hard. I support other community mental health agencies one of them in particular has one doctor, one MD psychiatrist on staff. He's there one day a week. They have 321 people they serve. How is that possible? Me, I'm forced to contract with the hospitals to provide medication management for the people that we serve. So some of my people have to drive to Streamwood for their visit. And now they're kind enough to let them to do the second one on Zoom, which I think is kind of, that's nice. That's, that's nice. But it's a problem. I brought the list for you. I'm going to tell you who's on the list. Who's reimbursable? LPNs, advanced nurse practitioners, hospitals, and MDs only. These are the codes I have. Can't do it. And you can't mix and match. You can't say, I'm doing therapy, and then at the end of therapy, you know, I'm going to do some medication management. That's messy. You can't do it. So oh, I'm using a nice word, messy, but you can't do it. <laughs> OK, <laughs> yeah, 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 you can't do it. So being invited to the table is nice. Fighting to get to the table is nice. But there's no food on this table. And we don't want to be invited to a table where there's absolutely no food. Your educations need to be reimbursed. You need to be able to make a good living. I want to be able to offer a salary that I think is respectable and that you like. But on this form here, the way Medicaid is situated, consultation, $12.78 per event. Literally, $12.78. This won't work. So in this country, if you don't have capital, you are not counted. So we want to make sure that we not only have the capital in cash, but also the capital in political power. So it's not just up to us as an organization when we gather to help lobby. We have to lobby every day to make sure people know what you do and know what your value is. Continuity of care is at the top of my list. And I feel that you guys are the best to do it. Now, Beth keeps trying to send me to school, and I think that's really nice. <laughs> I do. And, and Beth and I are just getting to know each other, but when Beth talks to you, it's not like she's asking. You know, it doesn't. 
you know, love her to death, but it's not like an ask. <laughs> so, I, it's true. And you're right, and I may, I may be there. But the business end is important. And on the business end, in order for us to do the quality assurance training that we need and the other things we need to grow as a profession, we need to be compensated. There needs to be something on the table that we're invited to. Thank you for your time.